A cave. Ooh, and an altar. Is this is this a key that we should be collecting? No. Nope. What will the future be for us? What is our destiny? We believe we can survive, that we can find another place and build a new colony once again. Just as we did long ago, we can do again. Yeah, I mean, come on guys, your ship was right there, still. Uncommon lava. It's like scaffolding up to the skylight. Oh, we can't jump jet, that's right. Oh, hello. Ah, golden frog eggs. Hello. Welcome. Uh, can we get more of those? Oh, I wonder. Because, uh, yeah, hey, hmm, yeah, how would you get more of those? You'd have to destroy the eggs. Oh, there is more. Here we go. So there's two. You'd have to destroy the eggs in order to, like, sequence the DNA again or something. No, nope, this is just a hole. Okay, well, we could put a teleporter down here, but there's kind of no reason to. Unless those eggs come back, but I doubt it. So I guess we do have a long swim back out again. Or we can try the exploit of putting the teleporter in the underwater zone. Even in the other guy's base, maybe? And we can just bamf out and just scavenge everything. <laughs> that would be kind of funny if that works. It's blocked by ice. Ah, right. So you got to get it to a certain point. Lol. <laughs> exploit time. I don't think the circuits would be very good now that I've been sitting underwater for ages, but much higher heat. Yeah, it'd be like the 5 1 or something. Decode. What does that require? Solar quartz, circuit board, magnetar, and blazar. Okay, so circuit board, is it just one circuit board? And we have some more rocket engines. Three more. We wanted four. That's fine. It's a start. And then it was water bottles and, oh, it was common larvae for the amphibians, wasn't it? Yeah, and fertilizer. So two of those. So we need to go foraging for some common larvae. That should be fine. Now, solar quartz, magnetar quartz, blazar quartz. Was that what it was for this? Yes. We finally found a use for solar quartz. Okay, well, I guess we now just have to explore again and see if we can find where those live like where those keys are so that'll be interesting our exploration paid off with the promise of more exploration <laughs> i guess it gives us something to do while we wait for the ti to tick up further though we'll also send off a ton more animal rockets as well because why not I just want one more common larvae, please. Common larvae? For common, you're awfully rare. You're uncommon. There we go. Nope. There we go. Good. Our trade rocket is ready to go again as well. So let's pop these outside here. You know what? Let's just put them right next to each other there. It must be because this is within the range of the power thing, I guess. That's why it does weird stuff. There we go. We have our golden frogs. Lovely. To go with our golden butterflies. And a rocket engine. How many bee larvae do we have? Oh lord. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That, that'll do for now. Just getting all of these done. Turns out we didn't need the oxygen canisters after all. Okay, so that's four rockets worth. We only wanted to send five. Oh, wrong one. That one. There we go. We just don't quite have enough inventory for them all. But we'll grab all of those out. So that's five there. So we'll just need to do more uh, genetic extraction. So long and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Let's go make some more mutagens. I can only imagine how fuzzy mess it is as I fly past um, the opening to my base.
because of just all of the riot of colors and everything. It, the bitrate must be so terrible. Uh, so 3T4 mutagen, which means I need 3T3 mutagen, which means I need 3 bacteria samples, 3 sulfur, and finally we use some nitrogen. <laughs> And now we grab the tier 1 mutagens and make tier 4s. There we go. Let's drink on my way up. Best to describe as pixels. Yeah, it's just too much going on for the 5,000 kilobit per second that Twitch supports. And I'm not recording it locally either, like, I should be recording these locally, really, um, simultaneously at a higher bitrate. Because I could record at, like, 9000 is what I usually do my Forza recordings at. I could record at 9000 bitrate. And that'll be more likely to cope. But that would also require me having a lot more hard drive space than I do. I mean, that would motivate me to do my highlights a lot sooner. But then they wouldn't actually be highlighted, they wouldn't exist on Twitch. They would only exist locally and then on YouTube. Well, that is a lot more TI boosting done. <laughs> so what are we looking like now? Hey, we have the tier 4 jetpack, just like that, because we've got 15,000 insects and 12 and a bit thousand animals. <laughs> Funny how that works. More Blazar Quartz, that's fine, I think I have more of that. We're almost out of a, um... Osmium Rods. Um... Yep, I've got two of those. What else was it I needed? Explosive Powder, that kind of makes sense. Tier 4 Jetpack! Well... I still can't truly fly, but I can go a lot higher. So that's nice. It's uh, Presumably it's faster as well, but I don't know by how much. Cool. Well, that's some really good progress. Um, uh, well, let's look at our map, actually. We can zoom all the way out, and we can use arrow keys to zoom around. So that's the secret area that we just were, presumably. Um, that or that's probably the start of it and then it probably finished up over there I guess so we can now see the ocean down the bottom there we have not been back over this side at all in some time so in our hunt for the uh, warden keys that's what we're going to be starting to do is I think we need to do another sweep around every biome and see what we can find but I don't imagine that they'll be easy to find. We haven't even found all of the golden chests that I think exist, because I bet there's more. And we still haven't finished delving into that wreck that was up here either, buried under this bunch of rocks. And there might be others around as well that are blocked by explosives. So still a lot to look at, but all of our tracks are starting to come to fruition. We've finished oxygen, heat and pressure a long time ago animal shelter we're working towards and actually not as far away as we once were uh, biomass we're finished plants we're finished insects we're finished animals we're finished <laughs> so it's all about just kind of doubling down on what has the biggest number currently and what should we therefore boost so we've got a huge amount of biomass being produced so this shows like the the bottom level thing i'm fairly sure because that that's in the smallest unit and it's the highest rate of accumulation that you want to focus on so oxygen where i wish it had commas oxygen are at 23 million units per second heat we're at seven and a bit million units per second pressure we're at nine and a bit million units per second and then biomass overall we're at 20 million units per second and then we need to go in here or there is a separate biomass one screen that i don't think i ever built <laughs> that i probably should have 
um, there's a separate biomass screen that breaks it down further without us going into here. Because this doesn't show the rate of increase. What do we need for the biomass screen? We don't have silicon right now. Aluminium. There's got to be some silicon in the lake here still somewhere, right? 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 <laughs> I think we've already cleared it out. Here we go. Good. Starting to eke ahead in some things, yeah. <laughs> I mean, my goal is with this uh, session was to get as far ahead as I possibly could. Like, I really want to get this as finished as possible because I want to finish off this particular playthrough and then ideally start another one. I kind of want to start a hardcore playthrough. It's not actually going to be that challenging. Oh, okay, there's our numbers. So plants, we are at 12 million units per second. Insects, 5.4. Animals, 2.5 million units per second. So plants, 12.7, is our highest rate of accumulation currently. And that's with a 7,500% increase. So if we increase the number of plant rockets we have, then that's going to boost our overall TI increase uh, by a lot more. And that means we just ramp even higher. And that means we need Lerma seeds. We need some rocket engines, which we don't actually have many of, and we can only make two of. Uh, maybe we should make a shredder machine again, actually, because then we can shred apart some of those bars, can't we? Where's our... yeah, three super alloy. And we have those deconstruction things from ages ago when we first built it and determined it was useless. Uh, it's, it's not completely useless. It's mostly useless, but it has niche use. If we put... I've got to bring something with me. If we stick, so let's put two more of those. Uh, how many were we wanting to make? Yeah, at least four. Let's grab one of those. Go upstairs. Stick that in there and press the big red button. Oh, hey. I wish it put it into a container, but that's still kind of fun. <laughs> I do like that. And uh, some super alloy. Four of those. Four of those. Cool. And uh, then I think it was tree bark as well. I think it was lerma seeds and tree. I'm trying to go do this off memory as much as I can. And then, okay, I can't remember what ones it used, so we'll have to look at this. What else did it need? It was plant. Yeah, there we go. Okay, super alloy and fertilizer. So f eight and four. Ooh, that's getting rather full, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, we should probably work on filling up that again too, shouldn't we? Let's do that. Just oh, that was we never sent it. Okay, well we are we're behind on that a little bit. Let's just pop those in there for now, shall we? Just wanted to make a little bit more space in the thing. So fertilizer, one, two, three, four. And we've got enough for that. Now also let's just do a little bit of these just to condense that down as well. Pop those in there. That's fine. We've got one extra. Cool. Let's go launch some plants into space, shall we? Plant rocket. Boom. Says the man who just drowned. Yeah, that's because I wasn't careful. With a hardcore save, you would definitely be more careful, right? That's why it's still slightly challenging. Especially in the early the early stages is when it's more challenging. Two, three. And four. It must also be said that uh, I think it was pressure was not far behind plants, even though we are only getting like a 2,000% boost or something. Which one was it? 
Yeah, pressure's at nine and a half million increase. So plants are now at twelve and a half thousand boost. The boost mechanic from the satellites is just mildly absurd. So now it's 21.2 million units per second that it's increasing at. That feels like a lot. I could be wrong, but that feels like a lot. That's a lot of fabric. Which could be a lot of butterfly plants, to be honest. You know. Let's just stuff them in there for now. It's fine. I grabbed one too many uh, super alloy. Yeah, okay, so 9.5 million can't compete with 20 odd million, but still, it's pretty good going. <laughs> now we're 40% of the way to the mammals, but it is a case of like that's 9.5 million with only two rockets. If we sent up more rockets for pressure, if we had done it early on, especially. Because that would have given us more iridium. Yeah, so we can get some loose iridium by doing that. Then, yeah. We were very conservative with the amount of rockets we were sending up. Because I was exploring a lot. If you start from scratch and do it again, then you can just double down on those early on. And the resources you get are more productive. And it sets you up for future success, like it just means that you ramp into things a lot sooner. We wouldn't have been waiting for so long for a lot of the unlocks that took quite a while to get to. Like we were waiting for a while to get to just the tier 1 gas extractor I feel. Yeah, the tier 1 gas extractor took a long time and it shouldn't have because we should have ramped a lot more. Okay, well I'm satisfied with that for now. We are at a pretty good spot. Let's go upstairs, actually. Let's go to our aquarium. And we can see all of the life that we have. It'd be nice if you could build like a butterfly farm or something. Or an amphibian farm inside the aquarium. I don't think you can. But that would be kind of nice. Oh, my hydration level is critical. Can I drink this water? No. Well, that's a bit rude. I'll just have to drink from my fountain instead. There we go. Ah, uh, look at all the pixels. You can actually see the bits around the pixels. That's not, that's not good. Let's go in here again. I, that's the other thing is I think that I would prefer to have a separate base where I did a lot of the production stuff. You have like your living base and your crafting base and then especially once you have the teleporters you set up all of your particle heavy things a little bit further away because <laughs> by the time i had butterflies and stuff i'm feeling sure i had the teleporter so that would be the that would be the clue to maybe spread out a little bit not do everything and not have butterflies flying through my base all the time but anyway, I think we're going to call it there. I'm not sure where I should be looking uh, to finish this off. Let's, let's, I don't know, let's look out the window at the portal again. <laughs> Good place to finish. Um, yeah, we'll come back and we're looking to hopefully finish the game next session. Is that too ambitious? I don't know. If we start multiplying things a lot more, then maybe that's possible. And yeah, especially once we start getting larger animals, which presumably are going to help our biomass track even further now uh, we can also multiply even more on plants and just try and place more and more trees we just needed to use more seeds up earlier but we have a backlog of tree bark so that should be good anyway for now that'll be it thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>